Damn, earlier than you. As this clipperoo demonstrates, there's now some basic sound in the game. And with that, welcome to devlog number 4. I should have known this, but the Unreal editor is pretty blessed. After finding some good tutorials and hitting the docs hard, turns out that adding sound is pretty easy. It's definitely a paper tiger. But as always, I like to start small, just to make sure I truly understand. First I decided to try to add some nice wind. It's just some noise I generated in Audacity with a low pass filter. The volume scales with your speed, and as a nice touch, I spatialize it based on your velocity and direction you're looking. And once I had that in, I was feeling pretty confident. Next, I wanted some nice looping sounds for player movement. So I set up some events that exposed my finite state machine transitions to blueprints, stole some CC0 noise from freesound.org, made some loop roos in Audacity, and I gave that a whirl. And it worked, but it wasn't good, even for just a prototype, especially the slide. I knew what I had to do. I had to make my own foley. I went about my place, like prehistoric man on the Serengeti, hunting for sound, microphone in place of a spear. Footsteps were simple. I recorded myself shuffling, walking, and running about. Here's a sound of me jumping. But the grapple and power slide were hard. But after channeling my inner hunter-gatherer, I found acceptable foley. With the fruits of my labor in hand, I loaded them into Audacity, cleaned them up a bit, and made some basic loops. Which brings us back to the opening clip. Each form of movement has its own unique sound loop. Except mentally, I'll get into that later. And there's also jumping and landing sound effects. And sounds for the grapple. And also sound for activating the return doohickeys. Now, they're far from what I want in the final game, but they're good enough for now, and that's what matters. I also added some sliders, so you can control the volume. So, why no mantling sound? As I was delving into the pool of tutorials and docs, I learned that you can tie sound cues to animation frames, and this sounds perfect. I always plan to tie footsteps to your actual footsteps in-game, and it turns out it's easy. The catch? There is no player model, and no player model means no animations that I can tie sound cues to, so no unique mantling loop yet. However, big reveal, the next release will have a player model, along with a new demo level. What's the price of all these new features? You're gonna have to wait for it. You can play what I covered in this devlog in the current demo available on itch.io. But now we're on the release hiatus that I've been warning you about, will I do the things I want to do for version 0.3.0? And first thing is cleaning up my code base. My code is getting a little tangled, and I want to clean up the foundation before I add more features. But there will be a video next week. A video, not devlog. I'm gonna try to release my videos either Thursday or Friday instead of midnight Monday. And I usually edit these things on the weekend because that's just how my schedule works out. So next week will be a video of my current idea of what Sick Transit will be and my inspirations for the game. As always, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate your time and I hope you have a good day. If you like the video, why not give it a like? And if you wanna watch more, please subscribe. I also have a Twitter that I'm starting to use more often. If you message or tweet me, I'll respond. There's a link to it in the video description. And here's what I have been dreading to say. There's no bread this episode. Along with making the devlogs on the weekend, I also make bread. I will post the bread on Twitter, however, so follow me there to learn if I can or cannot make ciabatta.